ready to drink? Because tonight's drink of the night is, which everybody already knows, but I thought I'd make a quick video. The pear martini, so good. We're gonna start with our pear vodka. We've got our Matilda pear liqueur. This is the key ingredient. One ounce and one ounce sweet and sour. Super easy. I'm giving us some ice in this book. Shake her up. Scoop out all the fun times and the we were about to add. Before we made the video, I sugar rimmed this with some cinnamon sugar. Delish. And now we have our pear martini. Where's the rest? <laughs> Is it has been approved? It's fabulous, baby. Give me back my martini. No more sundown. T minus thirty seconds. <laughs> Minus 20 seconds. It's in the countdown. Yeah, yeah let's, let's see. Yeah. yeah. Seven, eight seconds gone. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Nancy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at Nancy's going. <laughs> Look at Nancy's going. It's going to be like, I got to be ready, right? to the Cabin Wives of Cruising. This is episode two, and I'm Kimberly with Midlife Crazy. I'm also co-creator, along with my fabulous husband, Brad, who I have to give props and kudos to for that wonderful opening for us ladies. So thank you, producer hubby Brad. He's standing around because I'm not typically the one who handles the electronic portion of this, but uh, thank you so much for joining us. As you know, um, we have several of our cabin wives waiting to come in. But first, I'd like to um, acknowledge who's in the, ch the chat right now. So if you don't mind, we'll go through that real quick, and then we'll bring in our cabin wives. So tonight, we've got uh, Sailing Away with TK. Hi, TJ. Dewey Ski. How you doing, Dewey? Mary Ellen Dillon. Thank you, sweetheart, for joining us. The one, the only, D Incognito. Uh, we've got, uh, who else we got here? Midlife Crazy, of course, that's us. Um, we have TMLF959. Well, welcome. Hello, how are you? Um, life is good today. Stephanie McClure. Hi, Stephanie from the Cruise World. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to catch up, guys. Cheryl Rosinski. Hi, Cheryl, how are you? Carla McClendon, what are you doing, Carla? Happy holidays, everyone, as well. Nautical Nurse Nancy, she's watching. Janice Weiner, hi there, Janice. So everyone's saying hello. Holly Ayers, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Hi, Holly, how are you doing, sweetheart? Um, let's see, I want to make sure I get everyone that I can. Leanne Francesconi, hello, Leanne, how are you? Carolyn Gale, hi, Carolyn. Let's see, I think Jonathan Short from the Six Traveling Shorts and his lovely wife, Shauna. How are you doing, guys? Margie Butcher. Hi, Margie. So I think that's everyone so far. So if you'll um, 
indulge me, I would like to introduce or bring in our ladies in waiting right now. The first one I'd like to bring in is our hottest nurse on the East Coast. She puts the boiling in Boiling Springs Kool-Aid. Straight from North Kakalaki, Alma with Life is Good Today. Hey, Alma. Hey. Hi, Alma. <laughs> How are you, sweetie? I'm doing wonderful. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Excited All right. Say that again. Excited to be here. Thank you so much, Alma. <laughs> All right. We're going to bring in our next cabin wife. None other than our bodacious bartender extraordinaire. She puts Tom Cruise in cocktail to shame. The lovely, fun, quick as a wit, Betsy with Beach Please. Hey, Betsy. Hello. I love the intro. Thank you. Like I said, Brad worked hard on that, and I thought it was awesome. Loved it. And thank you for supplying that uh, our drink, make our drinks video that was awesome which i am enjoying right now also my boy <laughs> over here mike yes my bartender. very good awesome okay now we're going to bring in our next cabin wife the most exciting uh, up and coming travel agent in the cruise world the reason why we all say i love lucy but watch out peeps she knows how to get rid of the bodies our one hot mama from New Jersey, Lucy with MGM Travel. Hi, Hi Lucy. Everybody. Thank you for that lovely intro. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> I was like, hey, I want to make this fun and get it going right off the bat. So, absolutely. Thank you for joining us today, Lucy. Thank really you for having you. me. No problem. Love it. All right. Our next one we're bringing in. We're going in alphabetical order, so just so everyone knows. This is the hottest Midwest nurse. They say naughty and nice for a reason. The most positive, sincere person I know, always up for a good time, all the time, Nancy from Nautical Nurse Nancy. Hi, hi. Oh, fun to be here. Did you like the intro? Wasn't it fun? I loved it. It was awesome. Yes. <laughs> it's such a privilege to be here. Betsy, you rock that whole, I love your ice coordination. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. All right. And our next, and I don't want to go out of order, but I did go out of order. Forgive me. This person, dear to my heart. Here we go. The cutest, friendliest teacher this side of the Mississippi. She puts the hot in Louisiana hot sauce. The reason for our cabin wives. The one, the only, Kayla was sailing away with T and K. Hi, Hi. Kayla. Hi. And I did go out of order. So I need to go back to school and learn my ABCs. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> I'm sorry about that, sweetie. Thank you for being here, and thank you so much for you and TJ coming up with this wonderful idea and forum for all of us. No Great. <laughs> all right, we're on to our next one. This one, dear to my heart as well, you all are, referred to as one of the guys, but not tonight. She's one of the gals, our very own home chef. She puts the cues in Syracuse, the talented, beautiful Sarah with no H from Q's Cruisers. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> oh my God, that was fantastic. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad you liked it. So true. And, and last but not least, our very special guest needs no intro. The godmother of cruise blogging, the one and the only, the OG, the smoking hot travel agent deluxe, Sharon was Sharon at sea. Hi, Sharon. Hi. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was too funny. Oh my god. Oh that was a lot of fun to do, and I'm glad you guys indulged me in doing that. So how are how is everyone? Happy holidays. Um, I hope everyone had a great holiday. I just want to look over at the chat and just see what's going on there real quick. Uh, sailing away with T and K, give us those thumbs up. Thank you so much. Uh, Beach Please wants to know if Ronnie wrote these intros. Woo woo, it's like Bruce Buffer, Buffer introducing the UFC tonight. 
Hey, Beach, please. Uh, no, I wrote them all on my own. <laughs> all right, ladies. So tonight, you know, we're just our forum. This is our second Cabin Wives. And thank you again, Sharon, for joining us. Oh, Basically, sure. it's an open forum for all of us to just kind of chit chat, see what's going on and talk about things. So um, if anybody has any questions, raise your hand. We're going to try to do this so we're not trying to talk over ourselves so much so that our uh, viewers can follow us in the chat. But here we go. First thing and most obvious thing, I want to know what everyone's favorite Christmas gift they received this year was. So let's start with Alma since she is like, See, I gotta get my pointer right. Alma, you're right next to me. <laughs> Favorite Christmas gift. Um, my mom really went overboard this year um, and got entirely too much, but um, she got me some a really nice bowl set, and I was I was really fond of that. <laughs> what was that again? I didn't hear it. It, it was bowls. Bowls. Okay, it's like stacking bowls for ki the kitchen. Glass bowls with lids. glass. Bowls. Nice, nice. Betsy, what did you get? Mike got me so much sour candy in my in my best life. <laughs> that was your favorite thing you got was your sour candies. <laughs> we don't we yes, yes, honestly. Um, but we don't go big or crazy for Christmas because we would rather go on vacation. I hear you. Cheers to that. If we ever go on vacation again. Mm. Excellent. <laughs> Kayla. Yeah. Kayla, what, what's your favorite Christmas gift you got? Um, well, we just got back from Universal. So that was kind of our uh, Christmas to each other. But along with that, I got a gift card to have a massage on Monday, which I need from all that walking. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so I'm so looking forward to that. So in, in your neck of the woods in Louisiana, you can have massages and they're open? They are open right now, yes. Right now. I, right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Betsy and I um, are from California and there's no way, Jose, that's not going on here. Not happening. Nancy, go ahead, Kayla. We're, we're just in a modified phase two. Um, I, we're probably going to go back, I would assume, in about two weeks. So mm -hmm. while, while it's open, I'm going to go get it. <laughs> Thanks, Kayla. Well, lucky you, you get to have a massage, but be safe. Nancy, what was your favorite gift? Hi. All right. <laughs> now, I totally thought Alma said bowls. <laughs> And balls. I thought she said balls, and she said bowls. So I was like, balls? What did she give balls to you for? <laughs> okay, the well, that. Yeah. It was Alma. I can understand why you think that. <laughs> it was balls, and then I was like, said bowls. It was. I love her. I love you, girl. Anyway, I got a ball that uh, is a snowball. It is actually. A microphone oh. <laughs> from my hand. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I don't know. <laughs> but, you know technology. So something to improve the whole thing. I love all my gifts though. So it's hard to pick a favorite. But this one's right here and it and it coordinated a little bit with my Alma <laughs> answer. <laughs> Ball, bowl. <laughs> you both are crazy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but we love crazy for sure. Absolutely. That's why we named our channel crazy. <laughs> hey, I just want to go real quick, Lucy, if you don't mind, in the chat just to see what everybody's saying real quick. Um, David Calvin, MGM, we had the best time at MGM. Uh, let's y'all look like the Brady Bunch intro into so awesome. Janice Wiener, she says we all look like the Brady Bunch. Um, Carolyn, hello to Jonathan Short. So I just want to get a lot of people are just saying hello. So I just want to make sure we stay up to date with the chat. Hey, Lucy, what was your favorite gift you got? Uh, so Bill got us chairs. Right now we have folding chairs in our studio, which are very uncomfortable to sit in for an hour or an hour and a half. So he got us comfy chairs, and that's my absolute favorite gift this year. Yay, Bill. Way to go, Bill. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. How are you doing, sweetie? 
I'm doing well, thank you. What was your favorite gift? 496 French vanilla cake cups from Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> say donuts <laughs> I, I thought she was gonna say some kind of candy or something yeah okay yeah, no, i run on duncan you run on duncan okay excellent way to go was that from bob yes Aww. so how did he come how did you come up with 490 some odd so i'm uh, probably doing the math wrong there's like 12 in a box and there was like i don't know Lots of rows of boxes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sarah's going to be like the Energizer Bunny. She just keeps going and going on K-Cups. <laughs> Hi, Sharon. Hi. What, was your, what was your favorite thing you got for Christmas? Uh, well, we're, we kind of do like Betsy. Um, we do travel and we just, that's kind of our thing. We stopped giving big gifts a few years back and we just spend it all on travel. Um, I did get one cute thing from Matthew, my uh, son. He gave me this thing where you hook it to the car where you can put your phone in so you can like see what's going on and read things where while you're driving, it kind of sits up in front of you. So it makes it easy. So we'll hook that to my dash. So that's kind of a cool little gift I got that that I'm going to have fun with, I think. Hopefully like I the cell phone holder. Yeah. Right? So hopefully I don't get in an accident looking at my phone. <laughs> I don't know what they do in Arizona, but do they have like a hands-free law, traffic law in Arizona? Um, it depends on what city you live in. Okay. So each city is different, yeah. Yeah, here in California, it's all hands-free, so you can't be messing with your phone, so it has to be yeah. up. Yep. Same in yep. Louisiana. Same in yeah. New York. Same in New York. Yep. Um, Holly Ayer said, hey, Bob, awesome gift for Sarah. So everybody likes this, the gift, Sarah. Awesome. Uh, all right, Holly Ayers. Well, I'm going to share with you my favorite gift. And this kind of reverts back to our first Cabin Wives, if you, if you all remember. I told a story about um, a funny thing that happened on a cruise ship where I lost a nail and it kind of went into the toilet. And I had a decision to make whether I was going to go get that nail and put it back on or just wash it down. But I had a feeling I was getting engaged that cruise. So it was a really tough decision. And I ended up reaching in and getting it and making sure my fingers looked really nice and got engaged. I know that's kind of gross, but you know, girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. And that's what I have to do. So, but that ring that I got engaged with, I lost on a cruise last year. Aww. Yeah, very depressing. So I've been walking out around without a wedding ring on. So my lovely husband got me a gold band. That's all I wanted was a simple gold band, just in case I lose it again. And <laughs> I didn't get engraved with our names and our and our uh, wedding date. So that was my favorite. Aww. It was very Aww, sweet. That's sweet. That was, yeah. So that was, you know, that was a funny story, honestly. And I can't believe I told anybody that. I it took me years to tell Brad that. So, but I didn't tell. Uh, say again, Betsy. How did you keep that secret or how did you keep that in? I would have blabbed it in two seconds. <laughs> well, I got, you know, our last cabin wise, I told you that a lot of crazy things happened to me, like stupid things. I can't believe how dumb they are. And they always seem to involve the ladies restroom for some <laughs> reason. I don't know why. And, and it's not like I want to run out and tell my husband, I have all these crazy adventures in the ladies' restroom. He's going to think I'm nuts. <laughs> and I'm just like, forget it. I'm going to keep that to myself. But as I got more comfortable around him and stuff, I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> you can know it all. I will not be your restroom buddy because we'll be so such big trouble oh my god okay. i have a i have a funny story to tell you guys if you want to hear it real quick yeah, go ahead. <laughs> it's about the restroom so my girlfriend she's been my girlfriend since high school we went on a blind date together it was really a blind date for her i knew the gentleman i was dating she didn't know it was his friend and so we played truth or dare at the restaurant and so we got to this dare and we had to go in the restroom and they dared us to have like the toilet paper come out with like the toilet paper rolling out of our backs or in our shoe or in our boots. And so we're walking through this restaurant. We had to walk the whole restaurant with toilet paper coming out of our backsides and off our shoes. In this <laughs> really? so we, you get it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
For sure. We for sure did that. That truth or dare can get you into trouble. <laughs> Uh, D was saying that her son, let's see what D said real quick. D said her son got uh, a, them an Alexa Echo and an Echo Dot, so spent most of the day hooking it up and talking to Alexa. You may regret that, D. You just might. <laughs> yeah. D, is your Alexa on now? Hey, Alexa, play music. <laughs> My Alexa started using vulgar terms against me. Oh, <laughs> so, turn on just now. That's crazy. We had to unhook ours because it was, it had a potty mouth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I blamed it it the mouth. first day. I was like, why would you let it say that? And it, like, I was blaming him for days. And then finally it just, it kept doing it like unprompted. So we, I don't know, it's possessed. It's in the drawer. <laughs> <laughs> He says we turned her Alexa on. Did she, did we? Sorry. I hear Bill there saying, Alexa, cancel. <laughs> we did that by mistake, or I did that by mistake on one of our first lives. And, and everybody's like, oh, my God, you just turned on my Alexa. And I'm like, oh, I didn't even think about that. So sorry. <laughs> now I just do it to be a pain in the butt. So <laughs> Cheryl's going on, too. <laughs> <laughs> is she yelling at me? <laughs> no, she's not yelling at you, but hers hers also went off. Um, <laughs> Slinky, yeah. <laughs> TCU Pepito said, my Google only works in Spanish. <laughs> Alexa, Alexa, how do you say, who knows Spanish? <laughs> okay, I have a question. Yes. This kind of goes along with your bathroom story because... I don't even know how we were talking about it, but me and TJ started talking about this the other day. In the bathroom, do you fold your toilet paper before you use it, or do you just wad it up and use it? <laughs> Are you a folder or a water? This is the greatest topic. Wow. <laughs> I'm Kayla, a you pick, who, pick who you want to answer that. Oh, I'll start with you, Cam. Are you a folder or a water? I'm a fo I'm a water. I'm a water too, which he was so he's a folder. And like that's so opposite of our personality. Oh, I'm like that folder. Oh Nancy, what are you? I'm a I got I believe in fluffing it. You gotta fluff it and then You're you water. get the maximum wiping <laughs> potential from fluffing that toilet paper. That's what I'm telling you. I feel like folding is wasteful. Thanks <laughs> Nancy, what are you? Um, I'm with little Miss Nancy because <laughs> if you, you floof it, it's not so much wadding. Lucy, <laughs> <laughs> colder water or looper? Definitely a water. I like flat. <laughs> Sarah? It depends. If I'm in a hurry, it's a fluff ball. If I have time, then I'm I'm folding. <laughs> Sharon, are you a folder oh or a water? Um, probably a little more of a water, but it kind of you know has a a little folding technique to it. You know, depends on how much of a hurry I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> She's a hybrid. Questions you never think to ask somebody. Okay, you, you ladies know front to back, though. Front to back. Come on now. <laughs> I learned that when I was two. <laughs> David's in the chat, and he wants to know who's the fluffer, and I just realized we need to immediately mix the fluffer term. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> a buncher. We're water. <laughs> Timothy Waters is saying this is the bathroom diaries. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Michael, guys, is this is the sound of girls singing up their cycles? <laughs> <laughs> if you have a cycle, I don't even have one anymore. So, okay. <laughs> Oh, we got a few in the chat that use a bidet. 
<laughs> Stanley away with T and K said he heard Stud McNaughty used to be a fluffer. <laughs> <laughs> Stud McNaughty used to be a lot of things, TJ. I don't know. Hey, Sarah, did you say you had any questions today you wanted to ask? Oh, um, how could you top mine? Huh? How could you top mine? <laughs> yeah. Um, let me think. Let me think of a question. Um, well, let's let's go back to cruising. Let's let's go to everybody. Tell me what your favorite cruise line is. Or your preferred. All right, you want to pick the order? Go we'll start right at the top. Who's at the top on on yours? You. You. Oh, okay. You're <laughs> always my, at the top, Kimberly. What's my favorite cruise line? Okay, I have. Well, that's that's a kind of double edged sword a little bit on that because I have a favorite cruise line for the cruise ships, and then I have one for the actual cruise. Give me so one. cruise ship, cruise ship wise, I love Princess. I really think they're very nice and I like I like the whole vibe inside. But for fun, it's definitely the fun ships and carnival for sure, hands down. Okay. There you go. I know Alma. Alma's answer. I've I've only been on Carnival. Um and I'm willing to go on other cruise lines, but I feel like I will always come back to Carnival because it's the fun ship. Okay. It's the fun ship, yeah. Yes, yeah, same with us. Um, we've only ever been on Carnival and down. If anybody wants to, you know, sponsor me and put me on an <laughs> drink package, I'm there. So, I mean, I'm open to other cruise lines, but we've definitely only cruised Carnival so far. Well, Kayla's been on all of them. I've been on a lot of them, yes. Um, I'm platinum on Carnival, so that helps. Um, I do like Norwegian. I do like the like pick and choose what you want to do when you want to do it, where you want to do it type. So um, I would say top two are Norwegian and Carnival. Nancy girl. We started with Carnival. We love Carnival. Um, so we didn't really, I like, I like, I, I get a little bothered when people put down Carnival because um it really was very family focused, but also brought that that fun, you know, along with it too. So um, I, we really like Carnival, but we've only done Carnival and then um, Royal Caribbean, and liked them both. Just get me on a ship. I'd love to try Princess yeah. though. I really would love to try Princess someday. Um, and we have some uh, Norwegians coming up, so. Um, just get me out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> any cruise, any cruise, <laughs> get me out there. How about you, Lucy? Uh, so I've only been on Carnival and Norwegian, and definitely I just like the vibe of Carnival way better. I want to try the others, and I want to try Norwegian on a newer ship, but definitely Carnival for me. Okay. And Sharon? Um. Uh, I'm going to probably say Carnival because it's the one we've been on the most. Although I think down the road, it may be Norwegian because um, we really like Norwegian a lot, but we've only been on two Norwegian. So. Okay. So for us, we've only been on princess in Norwegian. So we haven't been on Carnival yet, but we have, I think three booked next year. So um, I would have to say right now it's Norwegian. Good question, Sarah. TCU Pepito wants to piggyback a little bit off of that. What's one thing you must do on a cruise ship? Example, order a food item, take a certain picture, or drink a certain drink. So let's start with Sharon. We're going to go opposite. All right. All right. What were the choices again? I'm sorry. I'm That's okay. Sure. What is one thing you must do on a cruise ship? And then he gave examples. Like you could order, you'd like to order a certain item. That's the first thing you like to do. Take a certain picture, drink a certain drink. What is one thing you must do on a cruise ship? Oh, oh let's see, that I must do. Um, I, I would say um, just lay out in the sun, hang around at least one day. I need to just lay on the Lido deck, get some sun and just relax. That's, that's one thing I always do on a ship. So I guess that would be it. I like that. I like yeah. that. Sarah. 
Um, I think for me, I love to go to the aft and just watch the water coming out of the back of the ship. And just that view of endless sea is like my favorite picture. I love that. So I always, always, always have to go to the back of the ship at some point and just check that out. Nice. So cool. Nice. That's a really good one. Lucy. Uh, so for me, I have to stargaze at least one night, skip everything else, go to the top deck and just watch the stars. Oh, Lucy, a romantic. <laughs> like it. Actually, usually my kids are with me, but they love it too. So it's like a family <laughs> thing we do every, every time. Nice. Nancy, what about you? I really like connecting with people. I don't know why, because I feel like I'm, I'm actually an introvert, but on vacation, I feel like I'm an extrovert. I'm like, I'm out there connecting with people. I love to connect with the staff. And I usually, I, I'm getting more and more of a kick out of connecting with one staff person and then like touching base with them through the whole cruise. I love that. I really do love that. But I love all you other and all the other answers as well. Laying out, watching the ocean go by. Definitely. Seeing the stars, you know. Oh, it's all I thought you were going to say dancing. Dancing, you know what? <laughs> I'm out there dancing too. You know, the line dances, the sail away parties. That's part of it all. But, the, you know, like that's where Carnival's Fun Squad makes it so much fun. They really get you out there making you feel like part. They don't make you feel like a dork. Like they make you feel like, okay, it's fun. Everybody's just have, having fun. And so what? If you look goofy, you know, just go have fun. <laughs> but they do a nice job with that. Nice. Hey, Kayla, what about you, sweetie? Um, at least one time I need to visit the spa. Um, I don't necessarily have to have a spa service, but like, I don't know, the smell in there, like just sitting in the waiting room with people that are getting a spa treatment. <laughs> I don't know. And just looking at the water, those hot beds. I just, I don't know. I just love the spa. Like, I don't know. That's this. I think it's the smell and the quietness. Like that's just something I don't get a lot in my day to day. So I just, yeah. I don't know. I just like being in the spa. Nice. What about you, Betsy? Um, the spa is so expensive. We got one massage one time and it was like, damn, we paid that much, but whatever. Um, we always get a Long Island when we get on board, but my new most new thing the last few cruises has been to go to the sandwich making station and get a toasted pretzel bun make my way to Guy's Burger and have a Guy's Burger on a pretzel bun is the best and only way to eat a burger on that ship. Wow, so, that's a lot of effort. Yes, it is. <laughs> I love that hack. I love it. You're going to do it. You're going to be like, I, I need I a pretzel. pretzel bun hamburgers. <laughs> Me too. I'll do anything for a pretzel bun. Really? <laughs> anything? Betsy, tell us more about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. what is your must do? You know, Ron and I hit the ship and it's like we're on fire. I mean, we want to do everything. But the first thing we do is we get a Miami Vice. That's the first thing we do. And on different cruises, we've chosen to do different things. There was one cruise we wanted to go to the nightclub. So we had to take naps during the day because we're old. So we took naps and we went to the nightclub at night and we dropped it like it's hot. Um, we we're going to do karaoke one cruise. So we practiced up and we sucked. It was so bad. It's on video. You can watch it. It was really bad. Uh, but we need to have as much fun as we possibly can and do everything. Very cool. Very cool, Alma. What is my must do? I don't, my must do, okay, let me be honest with you, ladies. I'll be honest. My must do is I have to go to the casino. Sorry, I'm going to the casino every ship, every trip, no matter what. I love everything that you all do, but the one must for me is, and I like to do it in the morning when Brad's still sleeping so I don't get any grief. <laughs> I take my coffee, I go down to the casino, pray it's open because you never know and how early they open. And if it is, I am in heaven for about an hour and then I gotta sneak back upstairs and see if he's awake. If he's not, I go back down. 
I and this is a game we play. This is a game we play the whole cruise ship. So I'm up early, early on cruise ships. <laughs> so what so do we got? Oh, what was that? Mike and I are the same way, except he's usually sneaking to the gym. Oh, <laughs> gym on, uh, well, you know, I can, wow. Gym on cruises. No, that's, uh, I've heard of gyms on cruise lines. <laughs> <laughs> Just never seen one in person. <laughs> what was that, Betsy? Do does do any of you guys utilize the gym on the ship, or is that just for like psychopaths? It's like no, they have one. Oh. <laughs> Everybody I'm in the chat, no, no, hell oh. no. <laughs> they have those tracks where you can walk. I yeah. think I did that maybe once or twice, but I, only I'll once. I'll do that. I'll I'll jog or walk around the track sometimes, but mm -hmm. but never make it to the gym except for just to take a few videos of it. <laughs> I feel like I'm exercising so much. We're we're going all nonstop, so we we move a lot on a cruise ship, a lot. And then you're going for excursions. You're walking a lot more than what we usually walk. I I, I don't know. We get our steps in, um, but I don't know. It's a nice goal, but I've never actually worked out. <laughs> on the Alma, did you have a question? Yeah, Kim. What is your definition of getting up early? Five in the morning. Wow. Four, seven. Four, seven. That's so close <laughs> to bedtime on a cruise ship. <laughs> yeah, I like getting up like super early, like five in the morning, because sometimes, depending on the cruise ship, some very rare though that they're still open, but I like going down when it's quiet and no one's up generally. And you can go sometimes not even the coffee's open, but you can get that ucky coffee by the pool, but that's okay, it's coffee. And it's just super quiet, and you can just sit and walk and watch, and it's just quiet. I love that. Isn't that like your two two a.m. for you though? Because you're no, no, no. Well, because I'm on. Depending on what cruise ship, yeah. sometimes I cruise on the west coast, sometimes I cruise on the east coast. Okay. But we generally come in like a day, maybe two days before the cruise, just so we can get acclimated and enjoy the surroundings around us before we get on the cruise. Right. So that's what we do. That makes sense. Yes. You Thank you, Alma. Who had a question? I was saying that the chat's blowing up. I feel like they're kind of uh, having a battle of who goes to the gym and who wakes up early over here. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry says Sharon likes to jog. Joe Rinsky says Jonathan is a panoramic view. So pretty. What else we got? Timothy Walters. I like to get up early and watch the sun come up, and that's always good too. Brad does that once or twice for vlogging. He'll do that for sunrise and sunset. Um, MGM Family Travel. Smoking time at five a.m. Watching the sun come up. That's Bill, right, Lucy? I know who that, that is. is Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I just I like that quiet time. Let's see. I like seeing staff eating in the buffet around ten p.m. That's Margie. Margie, you like watching the staff eat? That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what kind of weird thing? Do you have any traditions or strange things that you do when you go on a cruise ship? It could be, it doesn't have to be super weird, but is there anything like out of the ordinary that you do on a cruise ship? Nancy, yeah, let's start with you. Uh oh, well, dorky dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Dance like um, there's no tomorrow, you know. <laughs> Just I, I, it's not like I do Zumba or dancing at home. I should, but I don't. And but on a cruise ship, I love it. I love, I love to dress up. I know that some people don't, and they get tired of it. I like to dress up, and I like to feel like it's special every night. I just love doing that. So that's that's why I have a gazillion suitcases with me. <laughs> And then you jump in the pool with your nice dressed up clothes. It's it special. <laughs> you only live once. I exactly. Definitely have like a fear of, of um, losing out or missing out. You know that FOMO. Like I want to just do it all. I just want to do it all. Um, there's a lot to do on a cruise ship. So um, yeah, I think that Anthony likes to unwind, but I like to just get out there and do it all as much as possible. So that's. I don't know if that's dork. I think that's not uncommon 
but I think there's different kind of cruisers. Some people relax more. Um, and I'm always like, if I'm relaxing, then I'm kind of thinking, okay, what's next? Deck? What am I doing next? <laughs> what am I missing out on? I'm missing trivia and crafting. <laughs> You're just like, go, 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 little energizer bunny you are. <laughs> Lucy, what do you do? Do you do anything like, traditional, like a little strange or weird or out of ordinary or what? What do you do? It probably is weird for me. Uh, as I said, I travel with my family and they all want to get to the room and like unwind and whatever. I want to ditch them at the room and then I want to explore the entire ship top to bottom by myself. I run from one end to the other on every single deck getting my baron so I know where everything is. And I don't want company when I do that. It's, it's me time. Ah, I see you like the me time. What about you, Kayla? Um, I see cruising for me is more about relaxing and not doing anything. <laughs> so I like to take my daily naps in the cruise cabin, especially an interior because it's so dark and cold. And it's, I feel like it's just rocking me to sleep. Like I nap more on a cruise than I do at home for sure. Okay, nice. Well, that's, you know, some people don't like, we don't take naps ever, so that would be unusual for us. What about you, Alma? What do you like to do? Anything strange, uh, you know, different, any kind of, you know, tradition? I don't think we do anything strange. I agree with Kayla. We love the interior cabins. Um, we like our nap time. Um, we uh, we don't have much downtime though. We we hit the ship and we go 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 go. We do take naps, but I mean we're we're just like next next. We love the atrium bar. We love um, the atmosphere and you know I don't think anything anybody does is weird because I'm sure there's somebody else that does it too. Yeah, I mean weird isn't the correct word. Just different. Just a, a tradition. What about you, Betsy? Um, well, I love naps, and usually when you're drinking in the daytime and you want to go drink in the night, you got to hit a nap, so you're down. But I'm with TCU Pepito. He says, I act a fool. Nobody knows me, and he's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> Live your best life. Jump on the trampoline. Go down the slide. Just have fun. Who cares if anybody watches and judges? Well, Betsy, maybe nobody knew you then, but people are not getting to know you now, so it might be a little different. Bro, go down the slide. Hey, Mom, isn't that that lady from Beach, please? What is she doing? <laughs> Don't let her talk to your kid. <laughs> you guys, I know you have traditions because I've seen your vlog, so go ahead, oh. but you can tell us. Go ahead. Um, I don't know. It, it's hard because there, there are so many traditions that they just, oh gosh, um, they're just kind of natural for us. But we get on the ship and we usually just explore the ship. I don't think we do anything really different or weird. We just kind of have our our thing we do. We try to explore the ship. Um, I like to explore the ship more. Jimmy likes to find the first place to eat. <laughs> you know, everyone's always hungry when they get on. Uh, one thing we we used to do, we haven't done the last couple cruises because we've had the your time dining. But when we used to have a scheduled dining time, we would always go to the dining room when we got on the ship and find out where our table was. That was like a big thing. We always wanted to know where our table was and where we were going to sit and eat dinner and things like that. But we haven't done that, that like I said, lately. But that was something that we used to do all the time. I used to watch you watch your vlogs and you and Matthew used to race to the Red Frog. Oh, yeah. Rock. I, I that. Yeah, that was yeah. something. We haven't done that like for forever. We haven't, um, but he did. He used to race there and he would race in front of, you know, in front of everyone because he would run. So he would kind of secure the spot that we would, we would go in and he would already be there. So we would get the free drink when we got in there. And we've made a few people mad doing that. They would come in and be like, saw a kid, kid, you know, beat them to the free drink and they would get a little mad at us. But I. <laughs> He's like, I'll have a Coke, and the guy's like, ah, oh, darn it, I'll have to pay for that eleven, twelve dollar beer now. Yeah, yeah, I know. We had one um, particular cruise. I think it was when we went to Alaska, and the whole cruise, this one guy who got in there after Matthew, 
we got dirty looks every time we passed it. It seemed like we kept passing them on the cruise. You know, you always see those, that one person you always seem to run into. And every time we got the dirtiest looks. <laughs> Isn't that strange though, that you, you, you recognize certain people and it tends to be through the whole cruise. Yeah. That you seem to see them all the time. Yeah. That's, that's really bizarre. Does that happen? What What is that, Nancy? And I think vice versa, too. Sometimes you think you're going to connect with people a lot, and then you, mm -hmm. like, don't see them for the rest of the cruise. And you're yeah. like, oh, I thought I was going to for sure see this person, just even another passenger, a lot more than I did. You know, it can go both ways. But yeah. I've had it where you see them and you're like, oh, they're so nice. I'm sure we're going to see them again. And then the whole cruise goes by and then maybe like the last day you're like, oh yeah, I remember that person as you're going off the ship or something. <laughs> you know, so, some yeah. of those ships. <laughs> exactly. Sarah, is there a tradition you have? And then we'll get to the chat because I see Jamie's talking and there's a bunch of people talking. So go ahead, Sarah. Uh, the first thing we do is we haul Fanny to the, um, the club where you get the vibe passes because we like to be at, in vibe on NCL. It's a no kid zone because when we want to go, when we go on vacation, we like to just, you know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. So we go get our bypasses because we only, right? we only give out a hundred. They only give out a hundred on NCL. So you had the second you get on, you have to race to the comedy club and grab them. Gotcha. What was that, Nancy? Nancy, what were is you saying? Is that a purchased item, Sarah? Yeah, it is extra, yes. Okay. Betsy, how have you changed? Look at that. <laughs> oh. Betsy is looking different. <laughs> I think she drank too much now. <laughs> Hold on, I'm taking in. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So we've got Dean Cognito. Hey, hey, Betsy. Papa Mozo, good evening. Welcome. Hello, Papa Mozo. Hope you're doing well and you had a good holiday. Um, Dean Cognito says she hasn't been on a slide since 2014. I've never gone on the slide. Brad has. Has everybody been on the slide? Alma, you yes, have been? That is yes. like a thing. <laughs> it's so much fun. <laughs> Kayla, have you been on a slide? I don't think I could do it. Yeah. Yes. I don't think I could do the drop slide. But I have been on one. How about you, Lucy? Have you been on a slide? Uh, not in years. When I was younger, I used to get on the slides. I'm too old now. I'll break a hip <laughs> or something. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon, do you go on the slide? I don't anymore. I, I don't like all of them are closed in now, for the most part. I don't like anything that's closed in like that. I get kind of claustrophobic so i hear you with that i, I totally. can go up high on things but just i don't like being closed in oh i, I agree i agree brad doesn't <laughs> like either. sarah do you like do you go in slides i do the ones on ncl are okay they're they're i'm like you sharon i don't like the closed in thing so i won't do the one that drops on ncl that goes over the side of the boat i can't do that one that one's too claustrophobic for me but i can do the other one cool Hey, David Klein wants to know if anyone's ever been to St. Martin. Anybody ever been to St. Martin? I have yeah. been. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sharon's been. Yes. Yeah. We have. Yeah. We've been a few times. That's I, where the nude beach is. But the people you want to see nude are not nude. It's all <laughs> like old people. <laughs> so we, nude. Out, we saw. Nude uh, oh, go ahead. We saw some of the um, staff from a cruise ship at one of the nude beaches before. Oh, at oh, That's right. <laughs> oh my gosh, the beach life said we had a cabin neighbors who were loud when they were having relations. <laughs> we ran into them everywhere. They also had the table next to us at the MD. <laughs> Sorry, mommy. <laughs> Could you imagine sitting next to them going, oh my gosh, that's bad. <laughs> Lucy has a little experience, but on a different note, she scares small children and becomes a door stop. <laughs> then later sees them at a restaurant and her husband tells her, quick, Lucy, lay down so they'll recognize you. <laughs> that was a moment where you just want to like slide under the table. Don't, don't recognize me. Yeah, we had that was in Cancun. Lucy fell in front of somebody's door and the kid opened the door and went, Mom, there's a lady laying in front of the door. 
They had to step over her to get out. Yeah. <laughs> did the you see the comment? <laughs> what, what was that? Did, did you see Bill's comment? He said when we were asking what we like to do or what we have to do every time we're on a cruise ship, Bill said, I have to pick Lucy up off the floor at least one time. That's <laughs> only in Mexico. That's not on a cruise ship. <laughs> well, in Mexico, for in her defense, they have like these tile like walkways where you go to your rooms and they're super slippery. So like an ice skating rink. I got your back there, Lucy. I got you. (laughs) It couldn't have been all the margaritas. Yeah. No, 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 no. What's up, Balma? She's pointing down at Nancy. Nancy tripped me. Never, never happened. We have video footage. Logs that are logs. And Nancy been beside me both times. Both times. (laughs) Just falls in my presence. Oh my gosh. Jamie from Sharon C said he got stuck on a slide in Carnival Inspiration. Very traumatic. Oh, Sharon, wow. is that true? That is true. But it I it was weird because our granddaughter got stuck um on it as well. And she was like she was small. So it wasn't it it was like the water wasn't flowing or something and, and people were just getting stuck on it. It was kind of, that would have freaked me out. Like I would have never gone on the slide after that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. That, I would have probably chewed my way out of that plastic. Yeah. <laughs> some, some of those slides, it matters how the ship, if they're dock, if the ship is docked a certain way, it can be, it can actually affect the slides because it tilts the ship a little way. So it does, it is a thing. Yeah. It can affect the water flow. Yeah, I think it was docked at the time it was parked. And um, so, yeah, it was. Yeah, Janice was saying, Jamie, I got stuck too. I blame the low water pressure. See, just yeah. the thought of getting stuck in one of those tubes, that's enough to deter me from ever going yeah. on. <laughs> Jamie's comments are cracking me up. What did he say? He said he cried for hours. (laughs) (laughs) He cried for hours. Did you see what Bill said, Lucy? No, I I don't know why I can't see the He said, no, no, Lucy, last cruise, free drink package. (laughs) (laughs) No, he lies. (laughs) <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, my gosh. At Nautical Nurse Nancy with the engineering slide tip of the day. Look at that, Nancy. You know, it's the chills. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> Actually, they, we had done, when we were docked in St. Kitts, we did the slides up to a point, and then they wouldn't let us do them anymore because they said because of the, the angle. We were like, well, we've been doing this all morning long. And they closed the slide down on the horizon because only for you had to be younger. You couldn't be like you couldn't be bigger like us <laughs> <laughs> because of the way that the, the water flow was for the docking. Oh so I God. remember that. <laughs> hey, I just want to say hi to Puppy the cat. She's in the house. Hello, Puppy. Hi, Puppy. That's awesome. Thank you, everyone, to um, everyone who's in the chat today. We really appreciate the support. We're having a great time just talking away. Anybody have any more questions? Doesn't have to be um, cruise related to anything. Come on, let's share. Who? Okay, who's who's got a favorite holiday recipe or food that they made this year? Let's talk about that since it is a ladies' channel. Nancy. Well, I always, you know what? I like my rum cakes, so got to make the rum cakes. Those are always good. <laughs> Is it so, more fun making them or tradition. eating them afterwards? No. <laughs> Is it more fun making them or oh, eating them afterwards? Man, it's, it's <laughs> definitely the eating. Okay. But gotcha. the making them is a memory. It's with my mom, so oh. it's, it's a it's a fun tradition. Nice. That's really uh-huh. nice. How about you guys, ladies? Sarah. Um, probably my Bobby Flay throw down pumpkin pie. Ooh, that sounds Ooh. yummy. Yeah. I like Act that. Love. <laughs> Lucy, what about you? Uh, so my daughter likes to bake. So it's what, you know, she's 15. She doesn't want to do much with me. So that's the one thing every year she wants to bake cookies and brownies and cupcakes. And so 
That's my favorite thing. I love that. Hopefully she wants to continue doing that every year. I think it's a great tradition. It's my favorite part of the holidays. Aww. Nice. That's so sweet. Sharon, what do you do for tradition or holiday for well, recipe? Usually we make seafood lasagna on Christmas Eve. Although this year we didn't um, do the whole Christmas Eve thing. So, but this year I did make um, creme brulee on Christmas. So, nice. and I, and I turned it into like a cranberry creme brulee. So that was, that was good. Love it. Love did it. Did you ever do cooking baking with Matthew? I did. I did bake with Matthew this year. Usually I bake with our, the granddaughters. We do a thing, but this year that, that got 2020 was a horrible year. Everything got turned around, but um, mm -hmm. But I baked with Matthew this year. So that that was a lot of fun because I don't usually bake with him. So I think he had fun, hopefully. <laughs> <That's not laughs> right. but, but I think he had fun. <laughs> Excellent. Dean Incognito said she had some peanut butter whiskey yesterday. Mm -hmm. Sheepdog whiskey was delicious. It was 70 wolf. <laughs> wow. wow. 70 proof. <laughs> oh, wow. Really yeah. Um, this question has been asked quite a few times. Everybody wants okay. to know what our favorite room type is. On okay. Program. Sure. And so goodbye, Sherry. Put those kids to bed so you can have the best night. <laughs> oh, bye, Sherry. <laughs> bye, Sherry. Hey, Alma, what's your favorite room type? You know, I, I can't even say what my favorite is. We do interior because it's cheap. And my husband's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> But we do like we, we know we've had um we've never had a balcony. I'd love to have a balcony or a suite and compare, but he's always gonna be cheap. So it's never gonna be that. Hey, save room for that drink package. That's right. You Betsy, what what's your favorite room type? Um, I, uh, I, of course I love a balcony, but we vary all the time what we're going to have. Inside cabins are just fine for me because we love to take a nap and it's always dark. Um, but we love a balcony also. My favorite ones are the ones the kids don't share with us. <laughs> <laughs> Am I so mean? <laughs> no, you're not. You're being honest. That's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla, what about you? Um, I've had them all from interior all the way up to a suite. Um, my favorite is, I'm a bathtub girl. Like I love bathtubs over showers. So on Carnival, they have the family. It's like an interior with a little window, a circle window that has a bathtub. It's called a deluxe interior. And so that is my favorite because you get a little bit more room than a traditional interior, but I get my bathtub. So that's, that's my favorite. I no. never knew there was a bathtub. Huh? I never even knew there was a bathtub on the ship. Yeah, it's called a family room, I guess, because when you have little kids, you can put them in the tub. But um, right. I like to put myself in the tub. So <laughs> that's, that's the room of choice that I, I like to get that one. Oh, I like that too. Nancy, what about you? All right. I like variety. I just love variety. I Now we have not actually gone in anything other than a, an interior, but we have done like the porthole interiors and there's just a bunch of different interiors. There's a whole mess of different types of shapes of rooms and cabins. Um, on the BBD run, we have like a, a forward, window partial obstructed view but it's considered an interior i love i'm with alma on the pricing you know i like the cheaper the better because it lets me cruise more so i don't we don't spend a whole heck of a lot of time in our room so interiors are kind of cozy and you can get you can cram a lot in those interior rooms <laughs> But we do, our next cruise is on the Mardi Gras and we're going balcony and I can't wait to experience that balcony. I just can't wait to, you know, be able to spread out outside and have our own balcony. And um, I don't know if I'm going to get my money's worth from it, but I'm looking forward to just experiencing all types. We, I, I like the variety. <laughs> what about you, Lucy? Um, so I'm like, we've had interior up to balcony and, um, I like the price of the interior. 
but I'm going to say, I think I like Ocean View better. I only got balcony once and I had horrible neighbors who had, they were traveling with their extended family and everyone kind of hung out. There was probably 10 people crammed on the little tiny balcony and they were playing music and just obnoxious all hours of the day and night. And I didn't, I did not enjoy that I spent all that extra money and I didn't want any part of my balcony. But I liked um, the ocean view. I feel like the rooms are bigger than the balcony rooms because you don't ha you don't have that space for the balcony. And I usually travel with my children, so I like to be able to look outside. But I like the extra space with four people in a cabin that I get with an ocean view. So I guess I'm gonna say ocean view. Ocean view, nice, Sarah. So we have stayed in an interior and a balcony, and the interior I liked because it was dark. And I loved sleeping to the rocking waves and whatnot. But um, we, if it's Bob and I, we like to do the balcony for sure. Mm -hmm. Nice. The balcony. We came on the balcony. So, Sharon, what about you? This will be good. Um, okay. So I, I have never stayed in an interior at all. Um, Sometimes I say I'm going to just to, for the experience, but we've stayed in ocean views a couple of times. We, we usually um, stay in balconies. We've stayed in a few suites. Of course, you want to say I want to say suites because they're they're the nicest. But I'm going to say balcony because we, that's what we usually always stay in is a balcony. So I'm going to go with balcony. Yeah, Holly Ayers, I think said it best. Once you go balcony, you probably won't go yeah, back. But, that's, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's hard. Like, yeah. What was it, Sharon? It's hard to go back once you've had a balcony, and yep. because we love sitting out on the balcony in the evening. We'll sit out there for a while before dinner with a drink or something. In the morning, we drink our coffee out there um, as the sun's coming up. Some sometimes, not always. Sometimes we sleep a little late, but um, but yeah, I, I love the balcony. There's nothing more peaceful than sitting on your balcony, unless you get noisy neighbors. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I'm. Um, I would have to say the same thing for us. We are total balcony people. Um, Brad's claustrophobic, so he's he has personally stayed in an interior. He will never do it again. So, but I got to say, I really enjoy the balconies, just like Sharon said. I like having that outdoor, small, tiny, just your space. Yes. You can get outside. Nobody's around. You can just chill. And um, we've tried all different ones, extended balconies, quarter, corner balconies, suites, all of them. So anything with the balcony, we are okay. We did try... Uh, we went on the um, Splendor. Was uh, I can't remember, but it was out of Long Beach. It was a three-day cruise at Christmas time, and it just had a window. I will never do that ever again. So I know interior is not for me. Just not for me. So, yeah. And and, and in the chat, they keep going back and forth. It's this war. It's like fifty-fifty yeah. interior balcony, interior balcony. So that's an interesting dynamic going on there. <laughs> so yeah, I have I a question for you, ladies. Has no. anyone ever stayed in an aft balcony? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And love them. Yeah. Love them. Yeah. Except for one time. One time when we were on the Splendor, um, we were on deck six and it was real, like, it was really rocky and um, it, it, it was just, it, it was, there was just way too much movement. I think it was because it was down a little lower. If we would have been higher, it might not have been as, as rocky because the people, higher we didn't hear them complaining about anything but on other ships we were on a higher deck also um, when we went to alaska that we had the aft facing balcony and that was perfect for alaska oh just awesome. see all the views so yeah i can tell you sarah we stayed um we went on a journey's cruise two weeks on the breeze and we had an elf balcony the only thing that was bad about that is for some reason there was like soot from the, you know, the whale's tail, we got soot all over the balcony on the back. So um, I don't know if it was just the position of where our balcony was located, but that's the only thing that was the downside to that. Otherwise, it was phenomenal. Dina awesome. Cognito wants to know if there are slot machines on my balcony. D, if there were, <laughs> never leave it. So. <laughs> that would be nice. Yes, it would be. Love it. Uh, Slinky Ingle King. Hi, Slinky. Yes, she loves an out balcony. Yes. Oh my gosh. Cheryl Wazinski says they have an aft balcony for next October. Mary Ellen Dillon said they had an, a balcony, but usually interior so that they can cruise more, especially if I'm cruising solo. So that seems to be 10, 
tend to be what it is, is cruising more by staying in interiors yeah. as opposed to having a balcony and maybe cruising less. So what is, what is, what is your ideal for anyone to cruise? I mean, I'm sure it's as much as possible, but in reality with jobs, you can't. So how often do you cruise a year? Sharon, how often? I'm sure you do a lot because I see a lot. <laughs> um, well, I'm going to say four or five times a year. And then Is that the norm? It has been the last few years, except for 2020, of course. <laughs> Although we were lucky enough to cruise twice before it shut down. <laughs> Yes, I remember because you were like two cruises ahead of us beginning on the panorama and then it yeah, shut down. Yeah, we were on the, the last one of the panorama, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. Sarah, how often do you guys cruise? Usually a year. Um one to two times, but now it's more since we started our channel. So we have quite a few booked. Like I think we have four booked for next year, and then I think we have three booked the year after that. So Definitely more now that we started a channel. <laughs> yeah, watch out. <laughs> Those cruise channels will get you. Yeah. How about you, Lucy? Uh, so we take two family trips a year, but uh, just one cruise. Just one cruise? Mm -hmm. Nancy, I see you thinking. What do you um, think? I think that 100. I think we have, over, like, we have a lot. <laughs> I, I, just, I just feel like I get sucked into it all. So um, we have like not not horrible. I think like four or four or five, but that's a lot for us and for my schedule. So I still am trying to figure out how it's all going to work. Anthony's trying to figure out how it's going to work, um, but we have a lot <laughs> more than what we really should. I think that ideal for us and our work flow balance should be like three, but we have probably a self-control type of, <laughs> and I, it just may sound so exciting and I totally want to do it all. And so I'm like, look at it, let's do it. So <laughs> then we figure out the details and this year was a year of disappointment. So now I feel like we're, we need to catch up. <laughs> yep. Oh, I know, 2021 here, we, oh boy. Yeah. How about you, Kayla? What's normal for you guys? Um, At least twice a year. Sometimes, possibly three, if it can get squeezed in, but at least twice. Nice. Betsy, what about you guys? Um, two to three times per year um, is, is kind of where we were at. We didn't get to cruise this year. We were Our first one was canceled. It was Panorama also. It was either a week or two right before shutdown. So we could have been friends for a little while longer, Kimberly. <laughs> Exactly. What about you, Alma? How much? How often do you guys normally cruise? Um, we cruised three times last year, but our goal is four cruises a year. With uh, Ronnie finishing school, I mean, that's been the whole goal. It's going to be teaching, and we get four cruises a year. That's our goal. Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. We do our cruising by weeks because that's how Brad gets his time off. You know, with vacation time, it's by weeks. You know, how many days or hours or weeks you have. But we're, we're pretty lucky in the fact that we're usually about four to five cruises a year. So we try to, at least. That's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm lucky. I get to go on as much as I want. But Brad, he, he's got a, some vacation time he's got to work out. Hey, TCU Capito has a really good question for you guys. What's one thing your significant other complains about on a cruise? Pretend they aren't watching. You have to pretend they are not watching. Vlogging, vlogging, vlogging. <laughs> Nancy just like, that was easy. <laughs> I know it. Alma, what is yours then? We both complain about it. It's kids. Kids on the ship? Kids on the ship, kids in the hot tub. 15 kids in the hot tub, you know, chance. Kids. We try to get away from kids. We love kids. You know how much we love our grandbabies, but we go to get away from them. <laughs> Who, anybody else? Bethany? Obviously, I'm with Alma. Get those kids out of here. Mm -hmm. Mine is um, Sarah's on that club. That's why we get bypasses. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> not we get to you know there are no kids there so you don't need to worry about kids in the hot tub or whatever granted there's no pool there but that's okay i don't typically go in the pool anyway because you can't get near it oh because it's so packed yeah yeah so Good. i want to know what's jamie comp- he's not watching what's he complaining uh, about? oh <laughs> gosh um he doesn't really complain too much on a cruise ship um Let's see. As long as he can go to the casino and have his drinks. I'm going to say getting somewhere on time, maybe like if there's something we want to do, go to a show, dinner, whatever the thing is, he getting there on time. Because sometimes we struggle with that a little bit with having all three of us getting ready in the cabin and everything. And, you know, we're, we're always running late usually. Everything we do. So, right. and, I, and I'm always a few minutes late to everything. And <laughs> and he's like, you know, the person that's a half hour early to everything. So, yeah, that's, we differ in that way. <laughs> <laughs> We're kind of the same. Like, I'm never late. I'm just on time. But yeah, I'm that's I'm there <laughs> like 30 minutes to an hour early. Yeah. And like, that's a problem for me. <laughs> Why do we have to be there so early? Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Sarah? What does what does Bob complain about? The oh, you said the kids, the kids, and and he doesn't really. We don't really complain about it. We just cruise to get away from our children. <laughs> we love our <laughs> children, but you know, everybody needs a break, right? Everybody needs a vacation, and um, that's you know really why we like the vibe. But we. He, he doesn't complain on a cruise, and neither do I, because we're so happy to be on a cruise. <laughs> I know, exactly, exactly. Hey, um, I would like if you guys want to talk about your channels real quick, like tell us when they're coming on, what times you, you have lives. Um, and again, you know, we, we want to give a big shout out and thank you to Sharon so much for, oh, for joining us tonight. Oh, thank you for inviting me. That's been a lot of fun. Did you have fun? Good. We're pretty crazy sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Betsy probably said we're probably a little mild today. <laughs> we're mild, mild salsa bunch over here. I like it. <laughs> so, hey, Sharon, why don't you tell everyone who doesn't know? I doubt there's anybody here that doesn't, but tell us a little bit about your channel. Uh, well, we're, we're a cruising channel and um, we're, we're trying to become a little more of a travel and cruising channel. One reason is, be, well, this whole year, but um, in general, we want to do more um, other kind of travel as well down the road. So uh, we put out cruise vlogs, just cruise tips. Those are our two main things. We're not big on the cruise news. We do that once in a while, but that's just... We're not really that good at that. That's just not really our thing, I guess. <laughs> so, um, but you know, we go live every Monday night at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. or yeah, 6 p.m. Pacific. I have to get my time zone straight here. Um, and we we try to put out as as many vlogs as we can. Uh, Jamie works full time, so it it's hard for him to have time to edit. So we try to put a lot of things out there. Lately, we haven't been putting as much out. But hopefully soon. We have some travels coming up later in January and um, a cruise in March if it happens. We'll see. So hopefully there'll be stuff coming soon. Excellent. Thanks, Sharon. Hey, Sarah, tell us about your channel. So we're a newer channel and we started at the worst possible time during you know, a pandemic. So, you know, why not? We started it right before we were supposed to go on a cruise in April. So it is what it is. So um, we just are vlogging. We've taken a couple trips to Mexico. So we have a couple um, videos out on that. And there's some drone footage out there too. Um, But we go live every Friday night at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And we're having a great time. And we've met some wonderful people like all of you ladies. So (laughs) thanks, Sarah. (laughs) Hey, Lucy, tell us about your channel. Uh, So we are just a travel channel in general, Um, usually just family travel because that's what we know and that's what we do. Uh, We go live on Tuesdays at eight um, and I actually have off work this week. So I will be putting out another vlog from our trip to Mexico in from September. Oh, fun, 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 fun. Nice. Nancy. Hey, so 
this cruise community has totally sucked me in. <laughs> and Sharon and Jamie, you know, I, I get to be their hammer. So, I mean, I've been watching cruise channels for since our first cruise and just got addicted to them. So been putting out content, really had my channel since, um, so cruise, you know, more cruise focused. Um, that's, you know, I changed it from Nurse Nancy to Nautical Nurse Nancy. Been uh, putting out a little bit of content since, um, for a couple of years now. So I'm very blessed by this community. And we have our live streams on Tuesday nights after La Lida Loca. So it's after, on uh, Tuesday nights at, e at 10 p.m. Eastern. And um, I just am blown away by this cruise community. I love being a part of it. It's just so, so much fun for me. And um, just love you all. So thanks for um, being there. And, you know, just. We heart to me, Nancy. We heart to and that's why I have like 10 cruises booked out. <laughs> <laughs> as many as Julie. I know. Not quite, but I mean, yeah, close. I love Dewey. And, you know, and if we can't cruise, I wanted to say that I made it sound like this last year sucks, but it really didn't. I mean, it did for cruising, but we got to do some amazing, um, we had the opportunity to meet up in, in Cancun and do some amazing vacations too. So there is that. And we're still a cruise community at heart but we can all get together and have a great time. And I just love that. I love that about our community. So um, just really enjoy this community. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nancy. Hey, Kayla, tell us about you guys. Um, so TJ and I started our channel also when the world went to hell um, <laughs> in about the end of February. So we did actually, we got a couple of like packing tip videos out and then you know, Mambo 19 happened. So we've kind of turned into a land vacation channel for the past year. We did a trip in Gatlinburg at the end of June. We just did Orlando, but um, we do have some cruises booked. So we are hoping to actually take off with our cruising blogs and things of that nature. Um, we do have a show that comes on every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern um, this week. Um, Thursday night will be New Year's Eve. So we're going to have a premiere that drops instead. Um, we'll be out partying, bringing in hopefully a better new year. But, um, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, so normally we come on Thursdays at eight, but um, we will have a video that drops this week instead. Nice, nice. Betsy, talk about your channel a little bit. Um, it is mostly my husband and I. We feature our kids sometimes when they want to go. Or I can hear myself. I feel it. Um. Anyway, Mike just put out a video right before he got me on here. It's our last um episode of our trip to Zion, where he does like the cutest memory montage. Memory montages are my favorite. And we also started going live on Sundays. So tomorrow we'll be live at two o'clock. We have a little guest, um, Sarah down there from Q's Cruisers is gonna come up and we're gonna um, test her and I's 90s trivia ability, or not trivia, 90s music skills. Oh, fun. Little fun. Very cool. Alma. You know, we, we did start our channel uh, a little before things went crazy. Um, but then, you know, we didn't do a lot with it until things went crazy. And then, you know, so, but we do a uh, Thirsty Thursday on Thursday nights at 8, 9 p.m. I look at my husband. 9 p.m., <laughs> um, which, is, which is totally wrong. Um, and we try to get the carnival um, employees like uh, Russell that, you know, saying the PM bar and um, Steve Dukes and Johnny Shaw, you know, to sing on Thursday, Thursday. And yeah, we're totally copyrighted for every Thursday. <laughs> but, uh, and then we do Friday Night Live at 7 p.m. And um, 
whenever we can hang out with anybody else. We hang out there with some other people. Um, we just have a great time with everybody. And this has really been the last year. Um, this year has sucked in a lot of ways, but this year has been awesome in other ways. We've met so many awesome people, um, formed very close friendships. And I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm kind of glad this year happened. I know it sucks, but I'm glad this year happened. Yeah, 2020 was definitely the friendship making year, I gotta say. Yes, brought us together <laughs> in a way that we wouldn't have otherwise. Had. I agree. Absolutely. And if anybody doesn't know, we're Men Life Crazy. We have a crazy adult show that comes on every Sunday called Sunday Fun Day Live. Uh, it comes on at three o'clock. And if you can make it, we'd love to have you. We have loads of fun, we have lots of giveaways. Um, our channel is about giving back to our community. Uh, we, like Nancy and everyone here has said, uh, we have found so many great, wonderful friendship and community ties um, through all of you and through doing our uh, cruise-a-thons and our marathons have been just fantastic, I think, for just the cruising, blogging industry or, you know, group as a, as a whole has brought on a whole new um, gamut of creators and new people and different perspectives and personalities and it's been loads of fun getting to know everyone that way and we just look at look at all of us we're sitting here as the cabin wives of cruising um and we all met through majority because of this year so um i like I, like Alma said this year really has sucked. but um as far as friendships goes um it's been probably one of the better in my life so and i'm very thankful for it so if you can check us out, we'd really appreciate it. Does anybody have any more questions? Let's let's get some juicy stuff going. Betsy, I nominate you. Throw one out there, girl. Oh, I have a good question. You have a question, Nancy? After Betsy. After Betsy. No, you go first. I'll think while you're going. <laughs> I, um, does anybody have any other embarrassing moments on a cruise ship? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> Talk to us more than the toilet paper, the, the toilet story. What's your next embarrassing moment, Kim? Go oh, for it. Gosh. Oh gosh, you put me on the spot, Nancy. Does anybody have one like right off the top of their heads? Because I got to Okay, go ahead, Lucy. So on my first cruise, I went. Um, I booked it when I turned eighteen, and I legally could then. And I decided I was going to travel. That's what I was going to do. And I, I, you know, it was like a year and a half of, of waiting till I go and shopping. I knew all about formal night and that I was going to, I just had these visions of how awesome it was going to be. And I packed stilettos for every, you know, every dress had a different pair of shoes. I get on the ship. We're at sea. It was a smaller ship. It was 1995. So the ship was the holiday. I think it was like maybe 50,000 tons. And there was um, like a storm. And I all I had to wear to dinner was stilettos and the marble floors and the rocking of the ship. I guess my thing when I travel is apparently I fall a lot. <laughs> I fell, my dress went up the atrium was filled with people it was humiliating that's my big embarrassing story never again i do not wear heels on a cruise ship ever ever again <laughs> oh my gosh anybody else have a good one come on someone has to have betsy okay so my number one goal is always to get Mike on stage because obviously I'm always the loud one of the two of us, if you couldn't tell. And then, so I always try so hard, get him on stage, yeah, this guy. So I got him up on stage, I gotta act it out. Okay. I got him on stage and the, the cruise director gets this chick to pop on his waist. So my husband's up there thrusting this chick <laughs> in front of everybody in the comedy club. I was so embarrassed because I am the biggest jealous B word ever. And I was like, I'm up there to dry out these chicks on stage. <laughs> I've been <laughs> So that was more of a mic 
being um, embarrassed and you being embarrassed for him. <laughs> He's just fine doing that with some random <laughs> Oh my gosh. You know, Nancy, you, you asked me and they're all toilet stories. So I told you, I'm not kidding you. Everything happens in the ladies restroom. So for me, I mean, go ahead, Alma. I'm married to Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, need you say more? You really don't. <laughs> You ladies, I'm married to Stud McNaughty. <laughs> <laughs> really? I mean, <laughs> if you haven't had the pleasure of uh, meeting Stud McNaughty, ladies, any of you, lucky you. <laughs> Nancy Oprega, he's a stalker. He loves her little uh, lawnmower headphones, man. That really gets him. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, Betsy, you got a good answer. Anybody else have a, an embarrassing story to tell? Come on, Sarah. No, I don't. I'm trying to Sarah think. I have some don't. footage of Bob. He, In a oh. 50, a 50th birthday. I, it's out there. It is out there. <laughs> Poor Bob. Yes. <laughs> they sang him a itsy bitsy teeny weeny little pecorini song. <laughs> 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 he handled it like a champ. Go watch the video. He handled it like a champ. Did he prove him wrong? Did he prove him wrong, Sarah? No. <laughs> no, he just stood there and just he took it like a man. <laughs> Was he a power top or a power bottom? What? Well, expect tell ask her again, Betsy. I said, is he a power top or a power bottom? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> All of the David said poor Bob. Poor Bob is still right. <laughs> I remember Our, winning. I I was able to win the um the pool games one time. So um, but they had us doing like all kinds of crazy stuff, going and getting ketchup from the from the um buffet, and um oh, just running all over the place. And then we had to eat ice cream out of a bowl with without using anything but just from a bowl. So that was interesting in front of the beach. <laughs> Or in front of the pool. Oh, but I got a ship on a stick. Good for you. <laughs> but it was embarrassing. That's yep. We've never won a ship on the stick. Those. Oh, you can't see them. I've got a background. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody sent them to us. So posthumously, we have them. <laughs> you got to earn them, I tell you. They mean more. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Betsy, what was your question? Okay, so, well, that just led me into my question. What have you done to earn a ship on a stick? Mm. Nada. <laughs> you need a brand to go dry hump someone on stage. You'll get a ship. Yeah, well, you want to talk about competitive. Brad is competitive. I don't know if, if I unleash him onto the cruise ship like that. That would, might not be fair. <laughs> oh, one. He he he's crazy competitive. He he once told me that he's so competitive and so into sports that he would watch three year three year olds have a tricycle competition. <laughs> I'm <Okay>. serious. <laughs> yeah, I see. Of course you are. <laughs> Winner gets a shot. No, no, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the beach life. Hani says he has quite a few of them, but uh, his favorite ones he earned well when he sailed when he was a single guy. Oh. Was it that hairy chest competition, Hani? Oh, <laughs> look at Alma's so good. Oh, look at that. This is what not you... Alma. This is Ronnie. That's Ronnie. <laughs> Ronnie won those? 
Tell us what he did. What did he do? What did he do? He probably shaved his booty. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he is, uh, he's, he's really stupid smart. He does really good trivia too. So um, he shakes his booty and he does trivia. That's what he does. <laughs> he's a booty shaking trivia guy. <laughs> Buddha-Rivia. <laughs> That's what he said in his yearbook quote. <laughs> hey, Sarah, or, uh, Sarah, have you or Bob done, oh, you guys, do they have those kind of things on Norwegian or the other cruise lines? Yeah, they do. But I, I do more of the, the games in the atrium, like the um, Sing It If You Know It or... Um, I'm trying to think of someone, some of the other games. I like all those things that they do in the atrium at night. I, we love those games. We're, di we're not typically down by the pools where they do those kind of games because we're at Vibe. <laughs> oh, my gosh. My husband just said he would dry hump like a champ. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get that. Yes, gets a little, you know, has anybody been to the Quest? The yes, class. so fun. Oh. <laughs> so fun. Oh sure my god. Yeah. <laughs> has crazy. anybody ever won the quest? Nancy, you're shaking your head. You've won the quest? No. Oh. Sharon, have you guys won the quest? No. I, I can barely watch the <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is it really that? I don't think I've ever been to the quest. It's like an adult scavenger hunt. Like you need bras and panties and things. Okay. <laughs> it's fun. My theory on the quest is it's kind of like it it's riding that that line of what's permissible or not, you know? So it's kind of like pushing that that border of what's really accepted in our society. So that's what makes it kind of like risque. Yeah. <laughs> if like, like if you're a all girl, right? and you're like flaunting yourself, it's not like fun, you know? Like if you're just like, everybody's nude, you know? Like it's not very fun, but like it's that whole, ooh, we shouldn't be doing this, you know? But we are, you know? <laughs> That's my sounds like, it sounds just like our channel, Nancy. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> like right on that border of what's acceptable versus what's, you know, over the edge. <laughs> Connie said, what if you don't wear panties? Asking oh, for a pen. Yeah. Connie is going to Sarah out. <laughs> you win the photo competition. <laughs> I know. I know what he's referring to that he's asking for, Sarah. I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All the way down here, next to Sharon. It took me a um, long time to just even attend it. <laughs> Sharon, I think you, I mean, uh, Sarah, oh, I think you're giving away your secrets. I think he just did. Thank you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. TJ just said, I'll bring back an old game show host and drag and dry hump John Heald for a ship on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> oh God. How do we, thanks Betsy. See, I told you she'd get us started. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Sorry. So anybody else have any other questions? What about the chat? Have you ever experienced something so crazy on a ship that you asked yourself, what the hell was that? Ooh. Probably. Nancy. I don't remember, remember a lot of things so that happen on a cruise ship if you have the drink package. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen pictures of like people who have taken their whole mattresses off their bed to take them out to the Lido to lay them out on the Lido deck. That's <laughs> who does that? Really? That's out there. You know what? Because yeah. down outside, there's like crazy. Not, not us, but I've seen fully closed. <laughs> oh my God. I hear rumors. What was, what I didn't hear. What was that? You just hear rumors of, of shenanigans happening out on the decks. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> All right, you guys. 
Is there any other questions? Otherwise, we could start wrapping up this evening. I don't have any questions. Okay. So, um, hey, uh, Sharon, thanks again so much for um, joining our ladies chat tonight. We really oh, appreciate you having, you having me. Thank you. It was so much fun. Thank you so much. Hey, Sarah, um, thank you again for joining. Don't forget, Sarah, you want to plug your, um, your live show again, please? Friday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sharon, when is your live again? I know what uh, it is. <laughs> Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Excellent. Lucy, hi, sweetheart. Plug your live show. So we go live Tuesdays at 8, not this Tuesday, but we will be back on January 5th. Excellent, excellent. Nancy. Tuesdays at 10 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> Thank you. Kayla. Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. Awesome. Betsy. I just had to get the lowdown from my boss. He said we go on Sundays at 2 p.m. Pacific. <laughs> nice. Alma. Fridays at 7 p.m. and Thursdays at 8 9 p.m. I'm sorry. Right after us. <laughs> All right. And then like crazy, we go live every Sunday for Sunday Funday Live at 3 o'clock Pacific. Um, that would be 6 p.m. Eastern. I got to remember those time frames. I'm kind of like Nancy trying to remember all these different time frames. Not sure where we fall in sometimes. Um, so, yeah, excellent. Hey, thank you everyone in the chat for joining us this evening. We really appreciate it for the second episode of the uh, Real Cowboy Wives of Cruising. We try to do this once a month. Who is going to volunteer for next month? Sarah. Sarah, happy Thanks birthday. So that'll be fun. Kings Cruiser will be hosting it next month. you will let us know the date and times and get that out to everyone. On and my we'd birthday, like January 30th. <laughs> nice. Yay. All right. January 30th. The next cabin wise on Q's Cruisers. And ladies, have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for joining us after the holidays. Merry you. Christmas. Stay Thank safe you. and healthy, everyone. Have a good evening. Bye. We love you guys. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.